This video covers how to use the Equation Editor in Google Docs. First, you have to go to the Insert menu in your Google Doc and choose Equation. This will put a little equation frame into your document here and give you a whole bunch of new options here for things you can put in. You can put in arrows, you can put in Greek letters, miscellaneous operations, relations. The menu you're probably going to want in high school is this Math Operations menu and you're really only going to use things from this first row here because you're going to use this for exponents and fractions and roots and some of this other stuff you really aren't going to do much with until other math classes. But let's say I want to use fractions. I'll click this A over B and that put a little fraction frame down here in my document. So if I wanted to type something like 3x over 4 and I'm using my arrow keys to navigate around within this so I have 3x over 4 is equal to, and I'm just typing these in on the keyboard, 9. And then I want to solve that for x. I can copy and paste that, control C, control V. And I know to get rid of dividing by 4, I need to multiply by 4. So I can do that. And you can see that here I'm outside my doc. I I'm outside my equation. I have this symbol in a different place than it ended up with in here inside my equation frame. And when I am in my equation, I can see that I'm not quite there. So I need to be careful to stay in my equation to keep my formatting all nice and uniform. So that's me showing that I'm multiplying by four. And instead of using that star symbol, which is the one if you hit shift and eight, I could have gone here and into this menu and I could have actually chosen a multiplication symbol. I could have said, you know what? I have them, I'm going to use them, I could have chosen this, I could have chosen a dot, I could have chosen, you know, whatever is appropriate for my problem. And then I look at this and I say, you know what, I don't need that fraction anymore, so I'm just going to hit new equation and I'm going to say 3x is equal to 36, because that's what happens when I multiply both sides by 4. And then I can copy and paste again x will be equal to 12. And you'll notice I'm the one doing all of the math here. Google isn't doing anything to check my math. It's just letting me typeset the math that I already know how to do. So that's an example with fractions. I want to show you one with exponents as well because that's another very common topic in math. So I'm going to hit new equation and I'm going to go here and I can use these for parentheses or I can type in parentheses. Either will work. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use these. And because I want an exponent, I'm then going to select them and say, I want that all to be exponent -y. And so now I've got a frame with parentheses here and an exponent here. And so I could write something like x plus three squared. Oh, I want my squared up there. No, I want my squared up there. I want to get my exponent back. There it is, squared. And so I'm being very careful to actually get it where my exponent goes. And then maybe I want to expand that so I couldn't copy and paste it and I can paste it again and make sure if, I, if I'm sitting right outside the equation, it's going to delete the whole thing. If I'm sitting in the equation, then I can delete parts of the equation like this. I can make sure that I'm just deleting my two. And then I want another x plus 3 because I'm just expanding that. And then once again, I'm to the point where maybe I don't want to keep my previous line. So I might hit new equation and go, well, x plus x, I mean, sorry, x times x is going to be x squared. So I need to go back into my math operations and choose x to the b and go x squared. Uh, 3 times x would be 3x, 3 times x again would be 3x again, 3 times 3 is 9. And then this one, you know, I am going to copy and paste that when I combine those to make 6x. And so this is again a way I can show my work if I'm doing something with exponents. And those are the main things that you'll probably use this tool for in your high school classes.